Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wilds coming live to you from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning talk. Hey, for first time listeners, I'm on on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8.45 a.m. Central Time. You can calculate what time zone you're in. But yes, it's another nice cool day here. It's another nice cool day here in Houston. We're down in the 40s. But Patricia Blackman, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Yes, um, so today, man, we almost through November, right? The last day in November. Tomorrow we start December. December. Okay, but today what I want to talk about quickly, I just want to do a little, um, remind people about revenge. Let's talk a little bit about revenge um, because I know it's very tempting. It is very tempting, man. That when someone do something to you, that you retaliate and sometimes do the same things that they did to you because you want them to feel how you feel when they did what they did to you, right? But the Lord is just warning us, that's a, that's a setup from the enemy. That's a setup from the enemy because he's telling us not to take revenge, right? So let's talk about that a little bit because in our human worldly nature, that is the that's normal reaction you're gonna get to lash right back out when somebody lash out at you. You go right back. But hear what he said. Let's just take this from the prescript from 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 his um, perspective, and this is what God's saying. And then they, and we can discuss it, and it, and it can make a lot of sense, right? He's saying, "Do not take revenge." We can read from Romans um, twelve, like nineteen and twenty. We start off with that Romans twelve nineteen and twenty. It said, "Do not take revenge, my dear friends." But leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge. He's saying, it is mine to avenge. Do not take the revenge. It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. So God saying, "Look, do not you do not take the revenge. You left that to me. Left that to me. Instead, if the person who did you wrong find yourself in some trouble, you help them. You help them. The hungry, get them something for eat. The thirsty, get them something for drink. Right? You help them." You repay that, that evil with good. And he's saying in doing this, it's like going to be burning, heaping burning coals on the head. You understand what I mean? If you repay evil for evil, both the other are evil. What's the difference between you and the other person? Now, let me sing. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Right? If you repay that evil for evil. What make you different from the man, from the other person who do the evil to you, right? We can discuss and get a little more, but let's look, look at a few more scriptures and then we're going to discuss it, right? Let's look at Deuteronomy 32, 35. Deuteronomy 32, 35, it's saying, I will take revenge. I will pay them back in due time. Their feet will slip. This is what God saying. I will take revenge. I will pay them back. He's saying, in due time, their feet will slip. Their day of disaster will arrive and their destiny will overtake them. So if this person continuing to do wrong and continuing to cheat, steal, whatever he's doing to people, God's saying, don't worry. Don't get your hands dirty because they are doing this, this evil. He said, I'll take the revenge. I'll pay them back. In due time, their feet will slip. It will slip, he's saying. It's not his might slip. He's saying the feet will slip. Their day of disaster will arrive and their destiny will overtake them. Right? Destiny will overtake them. I'm doing great, Nanili. I'm doing, I'm doing great. Doing great. Just getting ready for the holidays. Glad you're doing good. So Romans 12, 19 said, Dear friends, Never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. So dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Proverbs 24, 29 says, And don't say, No, I can pay them back for what they have done to me. I'll get even with them. So don't, so don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And in Matthew 5, 44 says, But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. So let's talk about it a little bit. God say, man, don't worry the revenge thing. You cannot take revenge better than I would. 
and don't get your hands dirty. Because what happened, right? If someone, let's put it to the extreme. Someone kills somebody for you. And then you go back and you kill someone for them. Now, both of you guys are murderers. Both of you guys are murderers. Whatever's the penalty for murder, you are going to take the same penalty like that person, right? So he's saying you don't get yourself involved and make that person pull you to do the same evil that they did to you. Because when you led by revenge, you led by the enemy at the time, right? I see it's happening in relationships too. Big mistake. In marriages, one person cheat on the next person. The next person said, okay, I going back out and I can cheat on you just to let you see how it feel. And I'm like going to flaunt this person in front of your face. Let it hurt you. You do yours in secret. I can do mine in public. We'll make you better than the person. You're an adulterer just like them. Because that's what the enemy is saying. One person was weak. But I can use that one person. I can get a two for one right here. So you got both of y'all. It's in your soul, right? Both of y'all. So that's what God's saying. When you're led to do revenge, you're being led by the enemy. And you doing the same things. That's when we talk about send back to send the prayers. If someone sent evil at you, if someone sent an evil at you, they go to work, the witchcraft, the voodoo, whatever, and send it to you, put curses on you, and you go back and put back curses on them, you practicing witchcraft just like them. You send back what they send to you, and they send evil to you, and you send back evil to them, you send back the same evil prayers to them. You said, you're doing the same thing what they're doing. We'll make you different from them. We'll make you different from them. That's why he's saying, let me handle this. Let me handle this. He said, if you treat them with love, you know somebody trying to do you something. Someone is trying to do you evil. And they know the lies they're telling on you. They know what they're going back behind your back and talking to the boss about you and all of that. And you like, you know what? You're treating them nice and you're treating them good. And they're like, who, who are you? Who are you? I'm doing you all of these stuff. And like, it doesn't seem to affect you. That's what he said. You can keep him burning coals on the head because they can't figure you out. They cannot figure you out. I practice this and did not even know. I didn't know how the knowledge I had right now. I didn't have the knowledge I had now, but it's a similar in the job. The boss had had, um, had 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 wronged me in a way. Both of us had over sharing it, but then he talked. He started trying to fire me, and he tried to do everything in his power to set me up to fire me. But I, in turn, was doing everything. Long story short, I was over a certain area of of the job, and he wanted to get rid of me. So he brings someone and put them over me hoping that I will just retaliate and, um, and and just get myself fired, right? So they had this whole plan. So what I did, I know the person that coming that he put over me, um, it would have taken some time because it's a new, a new area and it would have taken some time to learn what they need to learn and everything. So I did not, because it was technical work I'm talking about. And I did not wait for them to go through their learning curve. I opened, I showed them out everything, how to do everything, make the job easy. So. What I did to him, he come in with he come in with his assignment to fire me because I supposed to be retaliate and get upset because they just bring this person and put over me and they give me the promotion when I almost had it. And I was supposed to retaliate. But I I I, I welcome him with open arms. I show him out everything, make his job easy so he didn't have to go through that two, three, four months learning curve to learn what's going on here. That was the expectation and and I just open up everything they ask me to do. I just do it straight. I'm going to work on time. I'm in my unit. I'm, I'm just didn't give them no reason. And they had to start fighting among themselves now. The boss started fighting with the guy that he brings for fire me. We're not doing enough to fire him. You're not the guy. But I'm not, I don't, he's not giving me no opportunity to. He's doing everything I asked him to do. He's not rude. He's not. He showed me out everything. If I tell him to do something, he do it right away. You report back. What reason I have to fire him? Saying you gotta find a reason to fire him. That's why we bring you here. And they're fighting among themselves, keeping burning coals on their head. Now, if I had do and we've had try to get revenge, now they'd have had their reason to get to do just what they want to do. 
right? I practice it, but I didn't have the knowledge I have to know what I do. And I know my hand was in tiger mouth, as we said, and you got to pat his head. That's the theory I go off of back then. You know, who knows the saying, right? If your hand in the tiger mouth, you don't want to poke the, poke the tiger now and want to whack the tiger. You got to rub his head and hope you get your hand out of his mouth. That's why I practice. But I didn't know, in a way, I was doing the same thing here now that I get this knowledge. And that's why it worked, because it's scriptural. So I'm just reminding somebody right now, you might be tempted to go out. Someone did you something and you're so upset right now. And you plotting and planning what you're going to do to them to make them feel and get some revenge on them because they hurt you. And you're thinking all kind of evil going through your mind right now. How am I going to hurt this person back? I'm telling you, don't do it. I hope this message gets to you on time and you don't go and do it. Leave revenge for the Lord. You might see somebody cheating the way and lying and, and doing all kind of crooked things and getting promotions. you like, there cannot be a God. How this person doing all this wickedness and these things to still get in promotion and all of that? Hey, that's not your business. Don't get into God's business. The higher you take them, it's the harder they're going to fall. You see, you're looking at it in a different way. But he's saying, I'm the best person with this revenge thing, man. The own evil, as he said, going to trip them up. So you don't worry. The higher they go, it's the harder to fall, right? So when you're thinking there's not a God and he's allowing them to get away with all this evil, he's saying, I don't know, I ain't allowing them to get away with nothing. I ain't allowing them to get away with nothing. You let me handle this. And you don't get yourself involved and do the same thing that they're doing. Because the punishment I got to give them, I also got to give you because you did the same thing they do. Not because you're doing it in revenge. I got to spare you, right? Just like the, the, the stuff with the murder, right? He, they commit murder against you, you, someone, and you going to do it back. Both of you got to stand trial for a murder charge now. So the same way God's saying, if they lie, cheat, steal unto you, and you go back, lie, cheat, steal on them, same punishment I got to give them, I got to give to you. That's what he's saying. Don't, don't, don't do it. There's the enemy leading you to take the revenge. I can handle it. I got this. I got this. And you go on and live your life and you get my blessings. And I, and I, and I can take care of them. But if you do the same thing they do, you're just like them now. I got to punish you too. Right, guys? It's hard to practice because our human worldly nature want to lash out, want to get back the revenge. But I hope this message um, make a difference. As you listen it and people listen to this in the future, leave the revenge to him. So calm down right now as you go into the office today. Calm down right now. With the friend that did you wrong, calm down right now and let this message marinate in you for the person who did you wrong. Calm down. Treat them nice. Keep the burning coals on their head. And God got it. Trust me. He said he got it. He got it. All right? We can leave that there, guys. Um, we'll talk again on Friday. Have a great day. Goodbye. Okay,